How y'all doing today? Stereo Man back at it again. Today we're going to be putting something on a vehicle that's going to revolutionize the way people operate and park their vehicles. Now, you already know that we at Rare Auto Accessories currently sell and install backup cameras all the time for all different types of vehicles. Now, imagine putting the backup camera on the front of the vehicle because how many times have you gone somewhere or known someone that's gone somewhere and then those parking blocks they have on the ground, you have a car that's loaded ground and you hit up against the parking blocks and you damage your air dam or your bumper or if you're parallel parking in a tight space, wouldn't it be nice to be able to not only see directly behind you but also in front of you because in case you're getting in a tight space and there's not, uh, not many places to park and you want to really get in there but you make sure you don't want to bump anybody's car front facing camera is the way to go and we at Grare Auto Accessories will install these, we'll sell these and install these for you. The vehicle today, we're going to be putting this on a 2003 Chrysler Concord Limited and you're going to see how it's done from start to finish. Stay tuned and watch Grare Auto Accessories at work. This is a Chrysler Concord Limited. Right below the emblem here on the grill, the camera is going to be mounted right here. And this little notch right here is going to be cut out because there's a um, hard piece right back here that the camera can be affixed to. But unfortunately, the only way to remove the grill is to remove the entire bumper, which I'm going to do. And then um, also, when this grill is removed, I'm going to take the Chrysler emblem off and I'm going to tape up the chrome all around here. And then this faded gray part looks disgusting. It's going to be painted black. It's going to be cleaned off, sanded, and painted black. Now, you see the bumper has been removed. And the good thing, at least every single wire harness, like the corner lights and the fog lights, everything is connected to one collective harness right here that has a good amount of uh, length to it. So that way, the bumper can sit on the ground uh, as needs be. Now the bumper is completely removed from the car and it's been disconnected and everything. You see how it looks. And I've removed the, um, the foam piece that was inside the bumper here, right behind the grill. And you see it sitting right on top of the engine compartment here. And take this grill off and take the uh, emblem off and prepare for painting. Remember, if you're not a professional, you have no business attempting this. Do not attempt it. Professionals only. Now the grill is removed. Furthermore, you can actually separate the chrome bezel portion from the grill. You just um, bend these little tabs back and they come apart. So now I don't have to worry about taping up the chrome part at all. I can just paint this thing black, remove the Chrysler emblem and paint this entire thing black after it's been cleaned and sanded a little bit. I just have the inside part of the grill. Here's the Chrysler emblem right here. And it would be cool if I could get one of these made up instead of Chrysler have it say Stereo Man and have it uh, show the Greer Auto Accessories logo that would be real cool if anybody knows how to do that hit me up now it's the next day you see how this grill is it looks nice doesn't it yes and the camera is going to be mounted right where this middle slot is I'm going to cut part of this middle slot out and it's gonna be mounted right there in the middle. And you see the cable, the initial cable right here is about four foot long. And then it plugs into this one here, which I've already run under the hood. I've run it from the inside of the vehicle already. Only thing I gotta do is, uh, is pull the head unit out and make my connections in the back of the radio. And then I'll put the chrome portion of the bezel back in, put the grill in, wire everything up and secure everything and it'll be good to go. You see the iPod is on right now. So, as you already know, it's got the backup camera. So when the vehicle is put into reverse, you'll see a switch to the backup view. As you can see clearly. And you can take that off the screen if you want. And it has the distance grid lines on it. A reverse image, of course. So then, let's say, I'm parallel parking and it's really tight or if I'm pulling into a space that has one of those parking blocks because this car is low to the ground I can go to my AV mode here 
See that? The image from the screen on the screen is exactly what's in front of us. And it's, the image is not reversed at all, as you can see. And then, if I'm parallel parking, I'm going back and forth. When I shift it to reverse, it's still showing right behind me. And then when I put it in drive, it's showing right in front of the vehicle. Reverse. Drive. All right, now, when you take a look, of course, it's got the warning sticker for the remote start and everything. And when you look at the wire loom for the video cable for the camera, you see that everything is nice and neat. Blends right in with the factory wiring and everything. Everything is secure. There's no chance of this getting caught up in the serpentine belt or anything like that. Everything is nice and neat. A lot of wiring has been run under the hood of this vehicle, and you cannot tell what was aftermarket and what's OEM with this vehicle. And you see the front-facing camera directly below the Chrysler emblem here. Nice and discreet, like it should be. Which is what you get when you come to Grand Auto. See, as we're driving down the street, this is showing the camera, the front-facing camera. And once again, you've seen it for yourself, another flawless install. You would not expect anything less from Greer Auto Accessories, but you would from the competition. So when you want this for your vehicle, you need to make the call. It's just that simple. This right here is something that should not be considered a luxury, but a necessity. And it's necessary for you to call Greer Auto Accessories if you want the best. 708-821-3526. Follow us, like us, subscribe to us, call us, and refer us. Follow me, follow me, yeah, follow me, I'm hoping to see the day when my people